In this video I'm going to talk about the screenshot box. Uh, now this element if you want to see how it looks just go to elements and go to screenshot box and you can find it here. Basically it's a box, uh, sorry it's a, a block of uh, uh, content, content. Uh, somehow of uh, styled like um, um, website features or I don't know uh, something like uh, presenting uh, an application or a website or a portfolio or whatever you like that you can display into a, uh, a frame and uh, with a few uh, how to call them uh, check marks or features more exactly I for example we used it as a as a feature box so basically you can uh, have a, a slider inside a carousel here which will cross fade between images and let me just edit this with page builder now I'm going to access its uh, element, its settings, sorry. And as you can see here, uh, we have the title. Now, this could have been much shorter, but uh, for example, I prefer to have more controls over it. Uh, by default, uh, its font weight is um, it's, uh, regular but I wanted uh, this part for example to be a uh, thin so I've used this uh, CSS class uh, FW thin which means uh, use to use the font weight uh, thin and then the mature and premium work text I've placed inside a span with the class of font weight semi bold as you can see it here so then we have the uh, style of the box. We have uh, two styles. One that's uh, included from the beginning of the uh, Kalias theme, and this style right here, which is uh, um, uh, included in the version 4.0. I'm just going to save it. As you can see, the frame uh, looks a bit older. It's a rasterized. Um, it's a bit smaller in uh, height so you could just uh, I don't know have sp uh, shorter text here or even drop one uh, one feature so uh, the uh, frame could uh, uh, just align to the bottom so going uh, further just going to switch it back you can uh, place the uh, link text here um, for example, now it points to the Kalias, uh, Kalias page on uh, Team Forest. It has the buy now text and it's set to open into a new window. And then we have the actual features. You can add as many as you want. They will just continue to uh, align uh, each after another. You can delete them, you can sort them and you can clone them so here you have the title uh, this uh, this box this text area uh, can also support uh, HTML code so if you know uh, some HTML you can uh, uh, use some simple formatting and the description text right here so also sorry scrolling to the bottom we have the images again same uh, thing you can add as many images as you want just edit the uh, image box and you can select every any image you you want and also you can have as many and you can also sort them uh, around so this is the screenshot box uh, let me just create a new element here for this tutorial 
I'm going to say section and I will add the screenshot box. Just a title, the title here. I'm going to choose type 2 because in my opinion it looks better. Button button here. I'm going to simply add a placeholder there. I'm going to create some features. Just a cool feature here. And some text description. I'm going to clone it and then I'm going to add some images right here yeah I'm a bit lazy I know So as you can see, this is the screenshot uh, box. If you have any questions about this element, feel free to ask me. And if you have troubles with the element, feel free to uh, subscribe to our support forums and my colleagues will assist you there. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.